with respect to the man maneuvering in it, people generally ask if I was scared and things of that sort. But in reality, I had worked part time on the development of maneuvering units, including the predecessor that flew in Skylab for about 17 years. So if anything, I was overtrained, overqualified uh, for flying the MQ. And quite honestly, when it got to the time for the first flight, I was just relieved that the training, the, the jockeying for position on a crew, for all the preliminaries for the, the first four days of the mission were over. And I was finally getting the opportunity to fly the MMU in space for real. You've got to understand that the MMU was totally redundant. We had two tanks of nitrogen, we had two batteries, two of everything, so that no single failure could render the MMU inoperable. And in the unlikely event, highly unlikely event of two simultaneous failures, we could always manually shut off the flow of gas and wait for the shuttle to come over and, and scoop me up in the payload bay. 